Welcome back to Colu TV as we look forward to a host of festive games across the Christmas period, starting off with a Boxing Day trip to Gillingham. Over the course of the programme, we'll be speaking to one of the players from inside the changing room, you know, hoping to get off to a good start in these three or four games. But first of all, let's talk to Matt Bloomfield as he builds a team up for that trip to Priestip. Matt, longer off than you, you probably would have liked since the uh, Sutton game with the postponement of Salford at the weekend. Uh, has that been a, a good or bad thing to have more time on the training pitch? Yeah, uh, a bit of both, I guess. We would have loved to have played the Salford game. Of course we would have done, but um, as a consequence, it's had a little, we've had a little bit more time on the training ground, which has been lovely. I mean, last week we were, we were in the dome because of the, the snow and the frost. So we did as much as we could in there and we're really lucky to have those facilities at a League Two football club and being a Cat2 Academy gives us that chance to train in the dome. But we'll be back on the grass Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and we've really enjoyed it. We've got lots of work in and we're looking forward to, to getting into these games next week. The Boxing Day game against Gillingham is a big one. It's a fairly local derby, so you'd expect plenty of fans there, but also Gillingham struggling at the, the bottom of, of League Two. Can you kind of focus on the, the game and is it easy to focus on it just as another game when perhaps outside it will be billed as a relegation battle or six points or all those kind of cliches that you might expect? Yeah, yeah, it's just a game. It's just one more game in our season and I know that's a really boring answer but it's the truth. Um, you know, um, whoever wins this game is not guaranteed survival and whoever loses is not guaranteed um, relegation. So it is another game. Of course, we approach game with, with maximum intensity as much as we can and this game will be no different. We're training, we're, we're preparing properly, um, irrespective of it being the festive season, we're, we're preparing properly and we're looking forward to the game. We respect, you know, Neil Harris and uh, Dave Livermore and, and the team they've got there and, and the staff they've got. We respect them a lot. Um, they've had real good careers in the game, but we're also, you know, really happy with what we're doing at the moment and we're looking forward to the game. But ultimately, three points would would be nice to, to give you a bit of breathing space, wouldn't it? Of course. And when I say what we're happy with what we're doing, what I mean is we're happy with the work we're putting in every day. We have to be focused on that. Of course, the three points would be nice and, and uh, we want to be winners in life. We don't want to be nearly people. So um, we want to make sure that we win, win games soon and we want to make sure we turn the tide in our favour. But we have to focus on our everyday activities and, and we've, been, we've been really pleased with the three days we've put on the training ground. I know you're um, very keen on, on the culture and, and the community that you're creating here at the, the club. So what does the, the Christmas training schedule look like for the team? Are you getting a good balance between having them in and making sure they have that time at home as well? Yeah, I think it's really, really important, you know, especially for the, for the guys with, um, with families, either mums and dads or, 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 um, or kids to spend that time with. But at the same time, we're employed to play football, we're employed to, to represent this football club. So that has to be our, at the forefront of our minds as well. So we're trying to mix it. Um, we've had three, three really good days. They've got day off tomorrow on Thursday and then we're back in on Friday preparing for the game on Boxing Day. So we're in on Christmas morning. We'll be training um, as normal, normal time just to make sure the boys get time with the kids, get an hour with them in the morning to open stockings and all the rest of it and then come in and focus ready for the game on Boxing Day. So community, um, family, it's at the forefront of my mind, but we're also here to represent the football club. So we'll be training and preparing for the game. And for, for you, it's probably very familiar to you having that, that Christmas time where you've, you've been a player and, and the, the training schedule and that. How much is different for you as, as a head coach now and, and how you'll be focusing on a Boxing Day game with Christmas? I imagine it's all quite the same, but maybe you're not thinking about the food as much and how much you can and can't eat. Yeah, I could probably enjoy my Christmas lunch a little bit more this day, Christmas dinner than I have in previous years. But if the last couple of months or anything to go by, the game will be occupying my mind um, from, from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed. I know that's one thing I need to learn to do a bit more is switch off, but I'll be certainly trying to enjoy the day as much as I can because my little girls, they deserve their daddy to be there for Christmas Day. They deserve to have the best Christmas Day and I'll try and give them my focus and attention as much as I possibly can. But I know that in the back of my mind, I'll be, I'll be thinking about chilling and I'll be thinking about our team and I'll be thinking about how the game may or may not play out and I'll be looking forward to, to that. So. It's about trying to find that balance as much as possible. Um, but, you know, family is everything to me and it, and it has to be for all our football club. There's no point me preaching about family and community and culture and, and not living it. But at the same time, we're in training Christmas morning and we'll be preparing to our very best. Christmas period is a, is a busy time. Uh, Injury-wise, are you thinking you'll be able to, to keep a fairly settled side for those, those games or will you have options to, to rotate considering the, the short window that you've got? 
I think one thing I do know is that I've been in football long enough to know you can't predict what's going to happen in, in the games. You know, we might come might come through with no injuries. We might end up with two or three, or we might have, have, have to protect people. We just don't know what's going to bring around the corner. I think all we can do is focus on the first game. If you get look too far in the future, you can get you know miss what's right in front of you. So first and foremost, we'll be focusing on Gillingham. And we're in the whole week that week because we've got three games to recover from and prepare for. So there'll be no let up, you know, our, our festive period or we, we can come in the new year when we hopefully got some points on the board. So for us, it's it's work. Um, we've got three games to prepare for, but in the forefront of our minds, the only thing we can think about at the moment is, is for Gillingham and what will be after that. We'll have to meet head on uh, after that game. Head coach Matt Bloomfield ahead of the Boxing Day trip to Gillingham. And of course, if you haven't already bought your ticket, check out our website. You will have to go on to Gillingham's to buy your tickets but make sure you back the lads if you are making your way down there. And if you can't get down to Kent for the game, why not watch it, the full game that is, on iFollow. All details once again on the website. But for now, let's have a listen to what someone inside the camp thinks of that trip to Gillingham. Tom, I guess it would have just been nice to get back to some match action, won't it? Yeah, something feels like a while ago now. So, uh, yeah, I think the boys are all looking ready for a game, yeah. <laughs> and when it comes to it being that long, I guess after a defeat and a defeat that was so narrow as that game, you're probably all geared up for, for Salford wanting to get that out of your system. When you, you're training, is it easy? Is it hard to keep that motivation going when you've got a long period to, to build up to something? Um, yeah, it's frustrating, obviously, when a game gets called off. I think we all wanted to get another game straight, uh, straight out of the way after losing to Sutton so narrowly, uh, narrowly defeat. But um, no, I mean, like we've we've had a good good couple of weeks on the uh, on the pitch now. So we've had like two two full weeks preparing for this game. So um, no, it's been it's been good in that sense. Has it been frustrating for you, considering you've just got yourself back in the side, having had injury? You probably want as as much match time as possible, don't you? Yeah, yeah, obviously it's frustrating being injured, so coming back for Mansfield and Sutton's been brilliant, but then you just want regular games, so, um, but no, we, we've, we've trained really hard the last two weeks, so I don't think it's going to be a case of getting the cobwebs off or anything like that, I think we're, we're raring to go. And when you have played in, in those games, you've been played more at, at left back than, I know you can play that, but we've seen you more in a, a central role previously, do you enjoy that different challenge? Yeah, I like to think I can cover left back if, if, if needed, I mean, if the gaffer Paul's been wants me to play anywhere on the pitch, I'll play anywhere for the team if it, if it was going to, if it's going to benefit the team. Um, so yeah, I think I'm quite versatile enough, but yeah, I mean, central defender's probably not the main position I'll play. Um, but yeah, I can cover a, a few positions if needed. <laughs> <laughs> Gillingham are the opponents on Boxing Day. They are a side down there at the bottom of, of League Two as well. Are you able to <clears throat> shut off the noise about the fact that you know, people might bid it as a six point and that kind of thing. Are you able to just focus on the fact it's it's another game that you need to win? Yeah, there's three points at stake and there's two teams trying to win the three points. So in my eyes, it's another game. It obviously, positions in the table, positions in the table is a big game, but every game in is a big game. So um, yeah, whenever there's three points, every game's a big game, basically. <laughs> Christmas period is always a busy one for a professional footballer. Do you get used to how you adapt to, to life around the, the games you have over that period and, and juggling other stuff as well? Yeah, I mean, I've been in the game long enough now to get used to the Christmas period. I, I quite I relish the Christmas period, actually. I really enjoy it. Um, it's more probably family that, that takes its toll on. But, you know, yeah, we've, we've been doing it long enough now, so we're, we're all used to it. Well, there you go. The players, just like us, will be wanting to get something out of that trip to Gillingham. Hopefully, all three points as a late Christmas present to us all. Hopefully, you can get down there and we'll see all of you down there on Boxing Day at Freesfield, cheering on Matt Bloomfield and the lads. And like we said, if you can't get down there, watch along on iFollow. But for now, let's remind ourselves of a game we had against the Jills in September 2015.
Well, a repeat of that scoreline won't go amiss on Boxing Day, will it? Goals from Gavin Massey and a certain Callum Harriet, who we could be facing on Boxing Day. Hopefully we can keep them quiet and get those three points to bring back to North Essex. That's all from me for now. Happy Christmas to everyone and hopefully we'll see you on Boxing Day.